Hey guys, another beautiful day. The sky is blue and all the leaves are green. My name's Trey Holiday, and you're watching The Holiday Road. Today I'm with Declan. We're here looking at an abandoned external tank for a space shuttle. It's just sitting on the side of the road and has been for years. Let's go take a look. The story I read on the internet is that this used to be at the Kennedy Space Center about a hundred miles from here and they sold it to a museum. They shipped it all the way here, put it on the side of the road, and they couldn't get it through the streets because of the power lines and stuff. So it just sat here, and it has been for years. Just rusting. Just rusting away. I see since I was here last time, they have some kind of kiosk. So let's go take a look and see what it says. All right, this paperwork's mainly talking about what this is, the Space Shuttle External Tank. So this was the display that was there for years. When they got the space shuttle, they got rid of this, I guess. And here it is. It's kind of cool that it's just right here where you can take a look at it. But at the same time, it's sad that it was in a museum for years. Now it's just sitting here on the side of the road. Hey, Declan, go stand under it for scale so we can see how huge this thing is. Yeah, you can see Declan next to it. This thing is massive. And it's on a trailer that's built for the tank. The trailer's bigger than I am. All the tires are flat. So it'll need some work before it can drive again. It's really hard to get on camera exactly how big this thing is. Today I'm here on a Sunday, so there's no work going on. But last time there was cars parked all through here. There was a Mustang parked underneath the front, I guess to stay in the shade. And there was all kind of fort lifts driving up and down the road. I'm walking around taking pictures. They didn't seem to care. I think they're very used to it. Oh, there's all kind of stuff written on here. We will not be writing no. anything on here today. No. Maybe tomorrow. Not tomorrow. The engine on this trailer. There is? Yeah, look. Bro, I thought it was going to be tugged by something, not tug itself. It says max speed, five miles an hour. Probably powers the hydraulic lines for the brakes because this thing's very heavy. Oh, there's a, it's a window open. Not a window, but there's a port open. Probably won't catch on camera. Oh, Oh, you can see. You can see the two tanks. This is awesome. You can see the two tanks of the two different fuels. Because I think this held oxygen and hydrogen. Yeah. I could be wrong. But here's the end of the two tanks. That's cool. That's very cool. This was closed off last time I was here. It was like a screen material and somebody's ripped that off and it looks like the two tanks are open yeah and let me back up so you can see we are close to the front but then there's a large amount in the back so the back tank is huge and the front tanks really small in comparison i wouldn't call that small but what do you find Shells? Yep. What's cooler, the rocket or the shells on the ground? Definitely the rocket. And this tank is just south of Jacksonville. You can type into the GPS. I just typed in external tank and found it. Oh, there's another engine on this end. I'm not sure what these engines are for. Oh. This has got to be a hydraulic pump. Use hydraulic fluid, mobile DTE 25 only. Okay, I see. There's these pistons. So this can raise and lower the tank. We'll give it a tap. Hey, 
that was just me. Oh, this is, these doors open up. Is this a seat? There's a chair. There's a chair. These doors are already open. I didn't open these. And there's a chair. I'm assuming that pulls out. And you can sit in that chair and ride along and control the hydraulics, I'm guessing. Right there. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. I'm, okay. Seashells are cool. Seashells, seashells are cool. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> but I think this is a little bit cooler right now. Okay. Looks like we are in, let's see, there's a water tower. Green Cove Springs, Florida. Walk about halfway down and then knock on it. I want to hear how it sounds in here. Okay. All right. Stop right there. And then knock it, knock on it. Yeah. Hold on, let me. All right, I got my mic in there. Okay, now walk to the other tank and knock on it. Knock on that, and I'm gonna see if it sounds any different. You ready? I'm coming when you're ready. All right, go ahead. All right, you can definitely hear the difference. The bigger tank echoes way more than the small one. All right, Declan. Declan's going to knock on the very end. I don't know if you can see him down there. Hold on, let me see. Over here. Right, he's all the way at the end. Right, the tires. All right, let me stick my mic in there. All right, Declan, knock on it. All right, so that's it. Just a quick stop off to look at this external tank. To be honest with you, I thought it was gonna be a five minute stop. Even though I didn't record it all, we've been here for about 30 minutes. Um, checking it out, reading stuff. He's collecting seashells. We're gonna go ahead and hit the road. I gotta get back home. I'll see you next time. What did the teacher say to the muscle? I don't know, what did the teacher say to the muscle? You're so shellfish. <laughs>